Best of luck with that. Now we've all been there enjoying a relaxing time outside with friends and family, only to later discover itchy red bites on your arms and legs. <laughs> So true, isn't it? Horrible, fin isn't it? Finish the night, you're like, did you get beer? Yes. It's always that. <laughs> Everywhere. It's always like, no, did you? Yeah, loads. Yeah, it's all horrible. one person. Sadly, this summer you might experience more bites than ever. Warmer temperatures have led to a boom in mosquito numbers here in the UK. But is there a way to defend yourself or insect? Insect, even expert Professor James Logan is here to tell us more, and it's really James, good to have good you in the studio. You, yeah. Do, are there more around at the moment? Is it a thing? Do we seem to be seeing more of them? Yeah, I mean, certainly this time of year, and you know, the weather today in London, especially, yeah. it's wet and warm, so there's a lot of mosquitoes going to be around. Yeah. Um, but it tends to be, you know, the sort of hotter months of the year, so sort of spring mm. through to autumn, that's when the mosquitoes are around. But actually, they can still be present in your attic, for example, hiding out over the winter. Oh, what a horrible is that thought. Because are we quite a we country with quite high humidity? Is that why would we see them? Yeah, so we do see them over the, the summer months because of that and because it's a bit warmer. Um, but the good thing about this country just now is that the winters are cold. Yeah. So mm. it tends to kind of wipe out a lot of insects over the winter. But oh, I see. as sort of climate change begins to change our, uh, our environment uh, more, you're starting to see perhaps longer summers, milder winters, and therefore... It's not just in the last few years, yeah, exactly. tangibly. But what about night? You see you could, they're more prevalent at night, or is it, is it kind of the turning of the days? Yeah, so it's, it depends on the species. Mm. So there's more than 3,000 mosquito, mosquito species in the world, yeah. and they all have different behaviours. So some of them will feed during the day. So the ones I have with me today feed during the day. Some of them will feed at dawn and dusk which is probably most, most of the sort of mosquitoes, and some will yeah. feed right the way throughout the night. Wow. Um, are there new ones that are coming in that we need to be concerned about? Yeah, so we've, we've seen the arrival of uh, new species of mosquitoes in the UK. Um, some of those are, are capable of transmitting diseases, oh, like dengue God. or Zika. Uh, there are even mosquitoes here that can transmit malaria, uh, for example. So it's not that we... We definitely don't want to scaremonger yeah. people, you know, it's not yeah. something we should be really worried about yet, but it's something we need to look at for the future uh, because it's only a matter of time, I think, before we start to see some of those diseases My appearing. God, yeah. Because the climate it enables the mosquitoes to, to thrive, I think. Yeah, a lot of it's climate-driven, but also global travel. You know, it just takes a mosquito to come over on a plane, for example. Well, you just said... I was back. reading my, sort of, uh, my notes and said that you were saying they come over in lorries, is that right? Yeah, they can, well, they can come over in anything, yeah. really, in your suitcase. Mm. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, quite often they can come across uh, from Europe um, in the back of a lorry and then you open the lorry out and the mosquitoes can so come So you out, find yeah. the, side, the side of the motorway is quite cool. Quite often, That's yeah. yeah. Uh, um, I get bitten and then my husband doesn't get bitten at all. Yeah. It seems that some people are more susceptible to it than others. Yeah. That's right, yeah. And it's, it's all to do with how you smell. Um, so if you smell normal... Lovely. Yeah, if you, if, you smell, if you smell like a person, then normal, then you get bitten. Um, and right. if you smell a bit abnormal to a mosquito, then, then you don't you get, bitten get bitten so much. It's a real thing, yeah. Oh. And it's genetic. We think there's a genetic component Yeah, my daughter to it. gets bitten. Yeah. So is there much you can do about it? Yes, there is. Thankfully, there's quite a lot you can do about it. So um, there are things that you can do, for example, wear long and loose clothing. And mm. it's not always nice to do that when it's really warm outside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but if you can, that's, that's really good. Because um, if the clothing is kind of against the skin, then they'll bite through it. Even jeans, mosquitoes can bite through really? it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, so loose clothing is, is the right thing to do. Um, wow. There are other sort of products that you can use as well. We've got some here, for example. Um, this is a plug-in. So this has some insecticide in the bottom. You plug it in, it heats it up, and then it disperses into the air. So that will repel and, and kill mosquitoes. I see a lot of them well. travel. Are they, yeah. uh, do they, 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 they work? They do work really, really well. Yeah, they do work. So those... For like a small room? For a small room, yeah. Switch, switch it on, let it build up for a bit, and, and then it will work. Mm -hmm. um, you can also spray them. So if you see them, you can spray them directly. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you might not carry that in your backpack, but you might have one of these at home, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you can spray them to, to kill them. Um, you can also uh, use a repellent, and uh, this is an example of a very good repellent. This contains, uh, this can, contains DEET, mm -hmm. um, which is an active ingredient. Um, but there are three other active ingredients, PMD, which is natural, and that's a really nice one to use if you don't want to use something synthetic. And then two others, IR3535 and Picaridin, which... Or take oh, your word for it. <laughs> exactly. But they do work really, really well. And how are they on, on skin? Are they OK? Yeah, fine. If you, if you use them according to the label, it's always useful, I think, to do a little sort of patch test. So mm. spray it on a bit of skin, just make sure that you don't react. But... And they do work, and you're going to demo how well they work. Well, yeah. Now. I, well, I will, yeah. So we've got some really hungry mosquitoes in this cage. There are hundreds there. 
I'm just going to blow on the your cage. pets? <laughs> These are my pets, yeah. Because you, so, no, you only love bugs, right? I do love bugs, Explain yeah, to I... me this before you... Whoa. Explain <laughs> to me, like... You know, I, I've, I've had conversations with people that go, oh, God, I wish mosquitoes didn't exist. How vital are these things to the food chain? Do you know, they get a, such a bad rap, don't they? And a lot of insects do, but they're so important. So mosquitoes are food for bats and birds. Yeah. And they spend their sort of... Uh, the young part of their life in water, so they're food for fish yeah. and aquatic organisms. Some of them are pollinators yeah. as well. So they so are as, important. Right. So as annoying as they yeah. are, they're pretty vital to the food Exactly. Chain. So we wouldn't want to get rid of them completely. And is it an old wife's tale that only female mosquitoes bite you? No, it is only females mosquitoes that bite. They're, so they're, they're on you now. I've got my arm in there and you can see how quickly that mosquito landed. Can you see them on my hand? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. really quickly. So really is quickly. Is that not bothering you? That would freak me out. <laughs> so are you... Hang on. Are you... Are you are you wearing a repellent right now? No, I'm not wearing a repellent. I was going to say, it's not, work, it's not working. It's not working. So you can see them all biting there, yes, right? Yes, so that's yes. how hungry those How quickly will they bite? Are. Oh, um, immediately. As soon as they land, they put so the proboscis into your skin. So have you probably been bitten? Skin. I've probably been bitten a little bit, yeah. But They're I don't like, react too bad. Dad just came in! Let's <laughs> bite him! <laughs> oh, God! Yeah, okay. something like that. Um, so let me just put a repellent on, and then you can see, hopefully... Do you just get bitten all the time in your in your job? Like, it's um, part of your job just quite, to get bitten by insects? I get bitten quite a lot, yeah. Um, Favourite insect? Well, it's hard to say, but probably a mosquito, because really? they're so brilliant at what they do. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we learn a lot from them as well. I mean, we're, we're creating new diagnostics, for example, just by studying a mosquito. That's so, very um, so let me put my hand in now. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So we've got DEET on the arm, and I've put it on kind of like a sun cream. I've rubbed it in everywhere. Yeah. And you can see they landed straight away last time. They right? really did, within now, seconds. How does it work? You see, does it just, do they just not like the smell or the... Or, or... Yeah, they don't like the smell. They, 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 so the, the chemical in the DEET is basically interferes with their sense of smell. Yeah. So it kind of blocks their receptors that normally pick up on yeah. human odour. So it, stop, it kind of masks you in, in a way. So you can see not one. Not There's one a few steps to my on fingers just yeah. from the bottom of the cage, but... They know that. I mean, it clearly does work. We've got nets right. on our doors Fantastic. over there. Do things like um, mosquito nets and things like that work? Yeah, so mosquito nets are a really good uh, way of keeping them out, if yeah. you can. Um, so and it's a hat? It is a hat, so you can also <laughs> pop that on. Um, <laughs> yes, Holly. <laughs> I'm not Very putting my good. head in there to test if this Very works. Very Agatha Christie, this look. I quite like this. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? There's a bow on it. So, nice. you know, in some places in the world, uh, the Scandinavia, slicing. for example, is really bad. You yeah. get clouds of mosquitoes. But on the west coast of Scotland, we spoke about midges last yeah. week. Yeah. Lovely. Um, you know, it's a really handy thing, that, because it's so annoying to get bitten on your face. James, thank you. That was brilliant. And if you need a home for these, Gina's car park is just... <laughs> his car's parked just outside. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Right, still to come.